So what's up, guys? <laughs> you see this? You see that? You have no idea how happy we are right now. Super excited. And we're not having a kid. No, <laughs> nothing like that. <laughs> For 10 years now, we've been using Food Saver yes. vacuum sealer yes. for sealing our vegetables from our garden, uh, meat when we buy it in bulk for butchering. We do a lot. Of, we did used to do a butchering with a bunch of family. We have in the last couple of years been doing it ourselves, but um, yeah, and ours has been slowly <laughs> hiccuping. It's been 10 years. I mean, it's it's done good. We've done sealing jars marinating meats it's been overheating yeah the seal bar always overheats mm -hmm. but that's on all of them that are <laughs> that you know price error or range mm -hmm. so what is this came in this like crate i get it lift it it's got little handles built in <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes so we're gonna do an unboxing you know it's in this box already because it's in the title of the video <laughs> Okay, so let's open it up. Where? Hold what? On. Am I forgetting something? It's just so suspenseful. Yeah, I know. You're killing me here. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Every move we make to be more self-reliant is just so fun. <laughs> it's I like, let's open it. That. Okay, so the, the packaging is really good. Seriously. I, it's here. really good, you guys. All right. <laughs> it is heavy. Probably about 30 pounds, 25, 30, maybe 35. <laughs> Just rambling numbers because I don't know. <laughs> Compare it to the kids. How many kids heavy is it? <laughs> How many babies? Oh, any babies heavy? <laughs> uh, it's more than what our babies weigh. I'm going to lift it for you, but I can't. <laughs> So if you didn't guess, we got a food sealer, and it's no food saver. <laughs> it's a food vacuum chamber. This is serious. Yeah, this is awesome. So we have these um, with our butchering family. Our, well, my, my it's family. It's we have a butchering family. <laughs> my family does a lot of butchering, and it's with mm -hmm. friends and stuff, and they have a couple of these. That's what I mean to think of this, but they always used to be really expensive. Mm -hmm. And there's been affordable models like models that came out, so yeah, we're like we're gonna do it. Yeah, for for the cost, it wasn't really that expensive for all it can do. I think Matt's most excited because we are going to be able to freeze a lot of our vegetables. We're gonna do some blanching. Um, <clears throat> we used to use the food saver quite a bit, and we said when it dumps, we'll look into getting something like this. But they were always really expensive until we found this one. This one was only $450, okay? Mm -hmm. So we were gonna get the upgraded food saver, the one that you can just keep sealing over and over and over again. Yeah. It's 350 bucks. So for $100 more, you can have this, what they use in the butcher shops. Yeah, I'm in. What I'm most excited about it is completely probably silly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited because with our food saver, we could use the attachment and we could um, put our dehydrated goods in there to vacuum pack them. But this you can actually fit. I think it'll fit. Well, maybe not. A tray is pretty. We'll have to look. You need to lay them on the side. We'll show you. We'll okay. demonstrate it. What I'm most excited about is sealing dehydrated food. Just kind of having that vacuum packed. I think this is going to be really easy from what it looked like for that. And we're hoping to just kind of set it up, probably in the mudroom, mm -hmm. somewhere where we can just easily, stand. yeah, easily just use it here and there. But then we'll probably be able to take it out if you can lift it for when we're doing a whole bunch of stuff like meat and things. Yeah, I'm really excited. So it comes with the instructions. That's right here. Power cord. The heat strip. It's like a tape that goes over it. And that does the sealing. Comes with two of those. An oil bottle, squeeze bottle, and then your parts and another heat strip, extra heat strip. So I want to also say it doesn't come with the oil. 
So you have to get the oil, and I'll put a link down below, and I'll have the link for this down there. And there's a spot right here for your Allen wrench. You want to take this out. Okay, so the added screws, the one I was looking at, uh, review what was a year and a half ago, they had two more screws. What I also noticed is the edges, people had complained they were sharp, they are not sharp. So they must have changed it. So I like how they added the screws actually, so there's three points of connection rather than what it used to be. It's a little more durable. So there's one on each side in the front, you have to take it out. Just tip it up because you don't want to pull any of these hoses or anything out. Or scratch my table. It's my table too. <laughs> so then to add the oil, you don't even need their squeeze bottle. You just open this up and you'll see they have a level right here. So that's, it filled up super fast and I gotta take some out. Matt went ahead and oiled the bench for us, so that was nice. Right, dude? <laughs> yeah, on purpose, obviously. <laughs> so it comes out fast, too. <laughs> and then I lost the plug, so I dropped it. Now, let's go a little slower this time. level is just over the level line so it's 60 percent so should be fine not worried now let's put the top back on plug it in and play So we ordered some bags off of Amazon. We'll leave a link down below. What I'm excited about for this, among other things, is that it sounds like generic bags work just fine. Where with our food saver, we just never had luck with generic bags and ended up buying the very expensive food saver bags. So what I'm gonna do is take this napkin, put it in the jar, it's a pint, pint jar. We got a regular lid and it's, it was a used lid that we washed and saved to see if it worked, it should. What you do is you screw on the lid until it stops. You don't force it. Okay, so it won't work standing up because the lid won't shut. So what we're gonna do is you can lay them down. And by laying them down, we can get three, four, four or five of them in here, it looks like. For sure three. So what you do is you're gonna shut the lid and then you're gonna hit start. See how it's counting down? You have the pressure gauge. So it goes to seal. I should have shut that off. And then it puts all the air back in. And then you should be able to open the lid. Look at how that's just like sitting in there. Now, it's sealed. <laughs> that's going to be fun. All right, so let's open it so you can hear it. I'm going to leave it right here. So what I'm going to do is take this knife and you go on the edge of the jar right here, just going to crack it so you guys can hear the suction come in. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, it's on there hard. Oh, wow. Is that what you wanted, Mama? Yeah, I'm super excited. Like, I want to dehydrate stuff <laughs> now. <laughs> Let's go get bananas. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be very, very helpful on our little homestead house area. And this is just awesome. This is just so exciting and way better than Food Saver. And the reason why we went with this one is because it's been out for a while and they've been, and it's been, it's made overseas and they've been making modifications, listening to all the reviews and they've done really good. I, I am super impressed. I will be doing a review on this a year after we had it and see how many mistakes or whatever. And you're gonna see it in a lot of our videos if you follow us on our videos. So I'm super stoked about all this. Uh, also, the bags are anywhere from two cents to three cents a piece, where the food saver was 30 cents to 50 cents. So, yeah, it'll pay for itself. I'm gonna try something else. I got an eight by 10 bag. I have two homemade tortillas, and we wanted to make these in bulk and then freeze them. So I'm gonna put them in this bag, and we're gonna set them in here. So another thing I wanted to point out is that on this one, you have a lever here that you can pull up and you place the bag over so it's flat and you put this down and it'll hold the bag there. You don't have to use it, you can put the bag over, it's fine, but it's just kind of nice, it just helps hold the bag there. So now we're gonna close it. We're gonna hit start. Notice how I didn't even have to push on the lid, it just grabs it and pulls it right down. It's really nice. It is so quiet. <laughs> now it's sealing it. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing they're gonna be stuck together because that was good. Look at how flat that is. It's even flatter than the food saver. Yeah, there is no air in there. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, I'm so, this is gonna help us a ton. We can put um, parchment paper parchment or something paper between, in between it there. if they get stuck together. I'm kind of curious to see. You wouldn't think they would though if they're dry. We'll find out. Yeah. Awesome. All oh, the things we're gonna try with this. Marinating meats is another thing that uh, people will put your meat in there on a plate and they'll go to do it, This and they just wanna have it seal and it takes the air and it seasoning and it pushes it in. So if you don't know how this works, I don't think I explained it. If you don't know how this works, what it does is when you close this lid, it takes all the air out through this little part back here. And what it does there is it sucks it all out. So it sucks the air out of the bag, out of the whole chamber, and then it goes to seal it. And when it's done sealing it, it pushes the air back in here that's in our room and that's what closes this pretty cool pretty cool super pumped I really want to uh, and now you know we get it and it, it took a while to get because all the stuff was shipping and stuff for after the holidays it was just hectic but now we have it and we're all done with our meat processing but that's okay <laughs> so the other thing I really liked about this one and why I picked this one particularly is the other ones like what we have at butchering it where they seal it it's two little lines and this one get out of the way here so you can see it see how there we go see how it's a really thick line so if there was any kind of a liquid or anything that was on there as you're putting stuff in it wouldn't uh hurt it so yeah uh we got the size bags we got is is six by 10, which is this one. This is an eight by 10. So this machine, I believe we can go up to 13 inches and I'm definitely gonna be getting some bigger bags because 10 inches, as you can see, that's eight by 10. And look, you've got another couple inches there and here, so. 
I think these six by tens are gonna work good for leftovers though. When you have that like one extra piece of something mm -hmm. and you wanna throw it in the yeah. freezer, I think these are gonna be really nice Absolutely. For that. And yeah. when we buy our hot dogs in bulk. Oh, that's a good idea too, hot dogs. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, very cool. Speaking of that, let's do a couple of them. Just cause. do some hot dogs. <laughs> Now I'm gonna show you that you can use it without this bar, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that there. And we're just gonna shut this. That's how long it takes to get the air out, no matter what. No, you can change it. Just some food you want to go less. Now it's doing the cool down. Like from a butcher <laughs> shop. Yeah. Cheap entertainment. Mm -hmm. Just got here. <laughs> oh yeah. So I kind of want to show you too, like the pork sausage. And if you follow our channel, we just did this a week ago and we put it all in freezer bags and you can tell the air doesn't get out of the corners. See that? And then all these white spots is moisture from um, the freezer pulling it out. Food saver can't get as much air out as these chambers can. These chambers are 99.9% .9 of air is out. That's why your stuff lasts for two to three years, they say. What do you I, got there? I really want to try, so these are red pepper flakes from our garden, like not this last year, the year before. We have a quart jar probably half full, and I've been worried that they're gonna start going bad. So I think it would be really awesome to put them in smaller jars and put them away, because I feel like if we take the air out of them, they'll last longer. <laughs> it's making me sneeze. Right. Yeah, I need to put Try this it. lid on. Okay, so I got a lid, and then I'm gonna put it just finger tight like that. Like go out like tight, yep, yeah, till it just gets tight. Mm -hmm. Once it gets tight, they should back it off just a little bit. Okay. I want to see if this one will stand up. Oh, not quite. So I bet the jelly. Oh, here. Sorry. What do you call it? I bet the jelly jars would stand up in here. Or not, this is a See, jelly jar. What am I trying to talk this about? This won't shut. So that's what she was saying. Sorry we didn't show it. The shallow jars I bet would fit. So let's try it like this. I don't know. Are we yeah. going to blow up the house? <laughs> we just did it with the paper towel. Okay. I'm just going to back up while I do it. Oh, that thing is really sealed. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm so excited for this. This is definitely gonna be a game changer mm -hmm. for us. Because mm -hmm. just having this in the cupboard, I liked having the quart of spice in there, but I've always been worried, like constantly checking it to make sure it's still good, um, just because I didn't have it vacuum packed, which I could have done, I just hadn't done it. Well, we, we always had the food saver would do it and it would like break a seal every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And it was just more work. I feel like this is just gonna be right here and ready. I think I am going to probably get those little, I don't know what they're called, half pint. So this is a half pint, so a quarter pint, a quarter pint jar, the little ones. Yeah. I think I will uh, maybe get some of those. I know I have some, but get some just for their spices. I feel like this is gonna be great. I did order lots of herbs this year to plant. So now I actually know what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> the other thing I'm really excited about for this is uh, the fish. Every time I do fish in the food saver, 
you'd have to try to dry out the flays or you put them in there wet and then you would let it go until the liquid starts going to the top before it seals and then you hit seal and you always had air in the bag still. So this you don't have to. You can do water in here. I'm gonna show you. All right, so let's try this again now that I'm not gonna spill it. So on water, you wanna make sure that you do less seal time. Or less vacuum, sorry. So I'm gonna do 15. Okay, so 15 seconds. We could have gone a little bit more. See how there's a little bit of air right there. Cool. So that'll do it for this unboxing. We definitely will do a one year review. If you have any questions about it, put it in the comments down below and we will answer them and tell you how it's been. And we'll also have it in the upcoming vlogs and things we're gonna do because we have some plans. Yeah, let us know if there's anything you want to see us try because, yeah, we have plenty of ideas. The kids have ideas, and I bet you guys have some good ones. <laughs> All right. If you guys like the content, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more. And glad you got to see us again. Bye. <laughs> Bye.